so for our yogurt i have two cups of milk here i have warm water i have a bowl i have my airtight container i have a wix and we also have our yogurt starter you can get yogurt starter from any store bought yogurt but i got this from the last one i made So I'm going to be adding our milk into this bowl. This is two cups of milk. And then I'm going to be adding warm water. And then we're going to try to dissolve this milk. So you want to make sure that you have no lumps in your milk. So that you don't end up with a lumpy yogurt. Our milk is actually okay this way. So now this is what your milk should look like your milk should be as smooth as this you don't want any lumps because you don't want to end up with a lumpy yogurt if your milk is lumpy you're definitely going to end up with a lumpy yogurt and you wouldn't want that so up next we're going to be adding our yogurt culture so i just took a bit of the culture and added it into this small bowl then i'm going to scoop some of the milk Then I'll mix it up before turning it into the milk. There's actually two ways to making yogurt. You can either boil your milk, but I don't like to boil my milk because it reduces the quantity. So I just prefer to use my warm water and it still gives me the same result, the same result. It still gives me that so i don't bother boiling my milk but if you want to boil your milk to be on the safe side you can do that it's just that the process is longer so i'm going to be turning this and then i'll mix it up You need an airtight container so i'm going to be turning this into our airtight container so after turning this into my airtight container i'm going to be using my cover to cover it up tightly so after covering it tightly you want to make sure that your milk is warm you don't want your milk cold and you don't want it too hot you want it at the right temperature if your milk is cold you're going to end up with a slimy yogurt and if your milk is too hot you're not going to have any yogurt at the end of the day so you want to make sure you have the right temperature and for you to know um your milk is at the right temperature you can just put a little on your wrist if you can handle the heat if you can bear the heat then it is okay I'm using this um kitchen towel to wrap this up before keeping it in a warm place please make sure you're keeping it in a very warm place so i'm going to keep this for I'm going to keep this for about 10 to 12 hours because i really don't like tangy yogurt but if you want your yogurt tangy you can keep it for a longer time you can keep it for let's say 15 hours or even more but i don't like tangy yogurt and that's the reason why i'll be keeping mine for 10 to 12 hours so i'll be back to show you what our yogurt looks like hi guys welcome back so this is 12 hours later and we're about to see if our yogurt formed or not you guys can you see this this yogurt came out looking so nice so sleek can you see the surface of this yogurt you guys look at it now tell me why you're not going to be trying this recipe just tell me why so i'm just going to mix this up well 
and i'm also going to be showing you how to make greek yogurt in this video so don't go anywhere okay so mix it up nicely and so for our greek yogurt we need our cheesecloth we also need um a colander a sieve and we also need a bowl so we're just going to put the sieve over the bowl and then spread our cheesecloth over it and then we're going to just go in with her you got into the cheesecloth and cover it up well and then we're going to keep this in the freezer or fridge for about two to three hours and i'll be back to show you what it looks like you can actually keep it for a longer time but i'll be keeping mine for two to three hours and i'll be back to show you what my greek yogurt is looking like okay so i'm keeping this in the freezer for two to three hours hi guys so this is um some hours later and we have our yogurt here i'm going to show you what it looks like we have our greek yogurt i'm just going to scoop it out of this bag and i'll be back to show you what it looks like hi guys so this was the amount of water we're able to get out of our yogurt you can see how much it is imagine if i had even left it for a longer time but i didn't i left it for I think about three hours and this is the quantity of water we have anyways let me show you our Greek so you guys this this is our Greek yogurt if you want it thicker as I said you can leave it for a longer time but I left mine for I think about three hours and this is what we have so yeah we're going to go ahead to sweeten um our yogurt now and i'm also going to be showing you our regular yogurt this is our regular yogurt you can see how runny this is it's not as thick as that so this right here is our regular yogurt and this right here is our greek yogurt we're going to go ahead to sweeten this so guys for our sweetening i'm going to be using um granulated sugar you can use honey or any sweetener of your choice but i'm going to be using this and then i'm also going to be using my vanilla flavor but again you can use any flavor of your choice vanilla flavor and sugar so i'm going to be starting with our regular yogurt i'm just going to put just little in it I'm also going to add the vanilla flavor just a little bit of it and then I'm also going to mix this up we're done with this so we're going to go ahead and do the Greek yogurt so for our Greek yogurt it's still the same process a little bit of sugar you can add more if you want more of the sugar and then i'm going to mix it up gently by the time you actually put this in the refrigerator it's going to thicken even more so it depends on you if you want if you love really thick yogurt thick yogurt are actually good for um parfaits so yeah, I'm going to add my, I'm going to add the vanilla flavor. Oh my God, it's spilled. But yeah, just a little bit of it. Now I'll mix it up. this is our greek yogurt remember if you want it thicker you can keep it for a longer time and this is our regular yogurt you can see the difference even without seeing it thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comment section if you're going to be trying this give this video a thumbs up
subscribe if you are yet to and i'm definitely going to see you on the next one bye for now